Hi everyone, welcome to the Data Alex YouTube channel and I'm Akshay Dagrawal. So this video is all about Metabase. About Metabase. Uh, Metabase is actually a very good uh, BI tool, right? Uh, so it helps us to create dashboards, it helps us to create reports, subscribe them to, uh, you know, to different emails so that the stakeholders regularly receive those reports. And it's very interactive, it's very easy to use. So I thought of creating a playlist wherein we can understand Metabase end to end, right from installing it, uh, uh, understanding different options to install it, uh, writing SQL queries, and even if you do not know SQL much, then also you can use Metabase to create dashboards and reports, right? So everything will be taken care of in this playlist. I think we will have a, a series of three to four videos and that will cover all of the basic topics in Metabase, right? So just try to watch uh, from uh, starting to the end and you will definitely get a very good understanding of uh, Metabase tool and it is highly in use, right? You know, I see that there is a lot of popularity of Metabase nowadays. So if you are into BI or if you are into analytics, this is a very must skill if you have, so that would be really helpful for you. So watch this video till the end, share your feedbacks in the comment section. Let's get started. So to use Metabase BI tool, right? We have to just uh, go on to the official website. So we will just search about Metabase BI tool like this on Google or any other browser, right? Then we will have the first official link, metabase.com. We will open it. Once you open it, we will have two options to use Metabase. First, we can try it for free on cloud. Or other, we can also download it or deploy it. Uh, Metabase deploy Metabase open source using Java, right? So it will ask for Java 11 version or more. It will help us to download a jar file, and then we have to use command prompt to run a Java code. It will give the instructions when you click on the second option. But for now, we are going to try it for free on cloud, right? So we have to click on this option. Try Metabase cloud free, right? Once we click on it, it will redirect us to another page, and on this page we have three steps. First step is to choose the plan starter or pro plan, choose deployment, and then the save the payment details, right? So uh, as of now, I'll just go for a startup package because it is perfect for small teams or individuals like us. So it will solve our purpose. Okay. So next. So yeah, it offers a 14 days free trial. And uh, after 14 days, they will charge us something, right? So uh, here we have to just choose our uh, DNS and the hosting region. When we click on the drop down of hosting region, they will provide us three options like uh, Asia Pacific, Singapore, uh, Europe, or uh, US East, right? So, according to your uh, region, you can just choose the hosting region and uh, DNS. And yes, so you, uh, if it is available, then it's fine. Otherwise, you can just uh, give any other name. Okay. Yeah. Then click next. Okay. Now we have to uh, give the payment details, like the name on the credit card, the credit card information. So obviously, uh, for security reasons, uh, we have blurred this credit card number. But yeah, you can put your credit card number and download that. After that, it will it is asking for uh, street address and other things. We will just put all those details and come back. So after putting all of these details, we just have to click Start Trial. And let's see what happens. So after it, like, uh, you know, it they, they are giving a message, we are setting up your Metabase. It will, uh, us it usually takes some time. So let us pause this video and come back when it's done. So now it is uh, very close to end. Let's see, next steps. So now we have, uh, we have to click on let's get started. Right, so, and here we have to choose our preferred language, let's say English and just uh, fill up some uh, personal information like first name, last name. So let's say Gobind Meher, email, yeah, uh, official email, right? And your company name, uh, then you ha have to create a password for yourself. Let's do these steps. So now, now just take care that the password should have at least two uppercase letters, two lowercase letters, and a number, right? So once we have filled the password, click on next. Then it will ask us some other information like what will you use Metabase for, let's say, a uh, bit of both of you can select any other options, right? Add your data. So now uh, here we have to add our data. Yeah, click on next. Yeah. So let's say uh, from uh, which database we want data, like MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, BigQuery, Snowflake, or more options also. Let us click on show more options to explore more uh, more options, right? 
yeah so these are all all the possible integration options from which we can get data into our metabase right because see as we know that metabase is a bi tool right uh, wherein we uh, we can write queries and get our data and we can convert it into visualizations to create a dashboard so for example let's say as of now i will select sql server right because i already have some data into my sql server database and we can do uh, we can integrate that data here right so let's click on sql server on the top right so or we i for now i have chosen like i'll add my own data later i'll uh, when we will go to metabase we will explore other options and or we can also integrate data from csv or excel file right and then just last option now here we are all set up uh, if you want to get uh, email frequent emails from metabase you can just subscribe and give your email otherwise take me to metabase right so it will open the application on the cloud just remember we are using the cloud version so yeah like this so this is the first interface of metabase i hope that's a uh, very easy so see let us uh, have a walk through of metabase so on the top left we can see uh, three vertical uh, three horizontal lines right yeah so it, this this will close the sidebar or if you want to open the sidebar this is the thing then we have to browse the data let's say you have connected it to some uh, database like sql or what right so it the your database will also show here for now they are also they are only showing their sample data which is already present in the in metabase right so and after that add you, if, if we want to add our own data we can also do that right so this, this let's say in the sample database they have this table called orders so these are the rows and columns and on this table we can also put some sql queries and get our data ready right i'll show that after just after this okay let's again go to the sidebar right uh, yeah right this like and uh, yeah, so and we, uh, by the, by clicking on this, add your own data. We can add our own data, our analytics, and our personal collection. So see, your personal collection will be the collection wherein you will put your own queries, right? For example, you were doing some working on some project, and uh, you have created some query, queries or you have built some dashboard. So you can put it into your personal collection, but nobody else will be able to see that. You have to create another collection by uh, of which the access will be shared to the other user whom you want to access that collection and uh, the dashboard and the queries inside that uh, collection right so that's a different thing and uh, yeah and on the top right when we come to the top right we can see an option of plus new can you see that on the top right yeah on the on this option yeah so now to create any new uh, you know a query or something we have to just click on plus new uh, when we click on plus new we will have multiple options like questions right so question is an option where we have to drag and drop the tables or uh, tables from databases to create a uh, output then we have another option of sql query where will we will write sql query actually right uh, in metabase to uh, get the output and uh, after that we have an option of dashboard wherein we can uh, create a dashboard wherein we will put multiple queries and to create a story to create a, a complete dashboard then we can create another collection also right and uh, let's say uh, you are working on multiple projects and you want to uh, uh, you know modularize uh, the collection uh, keeping different data into different collections so you can create different collection for different projects or different purposes and, and then we can create models also so let's say for now if we are choosing an option of sql query So here we can see sample database on the top left so that it is showing that we in which database we are currently in so now in the sample database as we saw that there was a table called orders so if i just uh, say write a simple query select a star from orders right so just uh, by using a, sequ a simple sql query uh, select a star from orders right so it is it also gives us suggestions right it's, it's very smart it's a, a smart tool uh, whatever tables are already present it will also give you suggestion to avoid any errors or something let's say we are talking about uh, orders right so the third option of orders table right and when we have to execute this code there is a play button right yeah and once we click on it it is doing this doing its sign and this is how it shows the output right so currently the output is in the tabular form we can also visualize that out right uh, so uh, we can see the option of visualization on the top left uh, bottom left yeah like the, on this option when once we click on it it will have basic visualization options. For example, currently it is table, right? The output is in a tabular form, but we can also create a bar chart if possible, create a line chart, a row chart, area chart, right? Or we can also put one numbers, other charts, like uh, we can create a pie chart, number, pivot table as according to the data, right? So it is right now showing like this because 
that current currently the data all the columns are represented as a bar chart but for example uh, let's say we choose the bar chart and then we have to click on the settings option to uh, improve our to man man manipulate our bar chart like, yeah so we will click on bar chart and then click on the settings option uh, just when when we hover on the bar chart we will see the option of settings like this yeah right so now here we have to choose the columns on x axis and the columns on y axis so for example, let's say on the co column on X axis, I want as ID, yeah, created act, whatever column, like let's say choose, let's choose in column of ID, yeah, right? And in the Y axis, yeah, ID on the X axis and on the Y axis, let's remove all the columns by clicking on the cross button. Yeah, just click uh, by clicking on that cross button, we will be able to remove these columns. Let's say we just select one column called uh, quantity, yeah. So since there are uh, too many records in this table, that is why this bar chart is uh, like this. But I hope you are able to understand the point. How can we use this uh, uh, same tool for visualization also? Right. So now I have only selected 10 rows from that data. Right. Since there were too many rows previously, that is, that is why we were not able to visualize the bar chart very clearly. But now what I have, the, uh, the query I have written is select star from orders, limit 10. So it's a MySQL query, right? Limit 10. It will only show the top 10 rows. Now, so see, uh, in the bar chart option, in the settings, we have chosen ID on the X axis and uh, Y on the Y axis, we have chosen uh, ID and tax. Or we can choose any other column. If we want to choose any other column, we can click on add series, right? For example, total, quantity, discount, whatever column you want. Let's choose uh, one column. And we, we, can, we should remove actually ID column because ID is already present on the X axis, right? Yeah, like this. So see. According to these IDs, these are the different quantities. Now, if I want to see multiple columns together, we can choose one more column on Y axis. Let's say total. Yeah, and we will remove this product ID. Yeah, so now this is the I, uh, quantity and the total orders or whatever it is like on the visualization. Now we can also uh, uh, manipulate this visualization by clicking on the display option. Once we go to the display option in the bar chart setting, uh, after the data, we have this option called, called display in the bars option. So once we click on display option, we will, we will get some option to change this, uh, you know, view. Uh, we can also click on show values on data point. If I want to see, uh, you know, values over the bar chart. For now, we will just keep don't stack. Yeah, and now we can click on this option, uh, show values on data point, we can toggle that button, right? So it will allow, it, yeah, it will very clearly show us the values on the different bar chart to allow us to uh, understand the data very clearly. Values to show all auto formatting. Then we can also manipulate the access uh, by going on the third option. After data, then display. After display, we have an option of access. Right, once we click on it, once we click on it, so, See, we, we can um, update our axis here, like X axis show labels. Uh, what do you want to display the, on the X axis, the label ID or whatever you want. And then on the Y axis, similarly, you can change the label. You can uh, show the label, right? So see on the Y axis, currently the label is quantity that right? you can update it and so on, right? So that's how we can uh, basically use uh, MetaBase. I hope that's very clear. And now to save that question, we again will go to the top right. Top right, we can see an option of save, right? So this is a SQL query, which I want to save. Let's say I want to save it by name sample query, just by putting uh, any name, any relevant name, what you want, sample query. Now you can also give some description, like, you know, so that you can come back later and remember, okay, this was uh, the thing which I did in this query, right? Like this, okay. For now, I'll just skip the description part. And now it is asking which collection should it go? So I have chosen our analytic. Now, if you want this query to add into a dashboard, you can just do it right now. Yes, please. Otherwise, you can just skip it for now. We can, we can, we will also be able to add any query to any dashboard later on. Also. So for now, since I have not created any dashboard, if I click on yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, so it will ask us to create a dashboard. So see, uh, create a new dashboard. Once I click on it, it will ask us to create the new dashboard. Let's say sample dashboard. I put the name as sample dashboard. Right. So see, that was a query and this is a dashboard. For example, in the in Tableau, we create multiple sheets and then we all the sheets combine together to build to create a dashboard. 
Similarly, we, we can create multiple queries and uh, save them and put all those queries into a dashboard to create a story kind of thing. Okay, again, it is going into our analytics uh, collection. I'll click on create, right? So we will see that that query is added as the name of tab one in this dashboard. So now in Metabase, we are able to create a query, save it, and we are also able to create a new dashboard. Correct. And now at the top right, we can we are having an option of save. Once I click on it, this dashboard will be saved. Now we can change the size of this and everything can be done. Uh, if you want to edit this dashboard, you can just click the first option on the middle, uh, like, you know, pen that pen option. Yeah, we can edit this dashboard. For example, if we want to add more sheets, we can just click on the plus button after tab one. By, uh, yeah like this like and uh, if you want to rename that tab one tab two to some meaningful name we can just double click on it like this we can rename it uh, let's say uh sample yeah right so this is how we can change the dash or tabs name now by clicking on the plus icon uh there yes this this option no yes add questions right so let's say if you have uh, saved more questions or more sql queries you can add it uh, from here also into the dashboard after that we can also save it again right uh, we uh, right and now we can very clearly see an option of email subscription the second option after editing so let's say if you want uh, this uh, dashboard to be subscribed to your manager's email or to some stakeholder's email. So we can just email, say, subscribe this to email to send it weekly, monthly, daily, at whatever periodic interval you want to the stakeholder, right? For now, I'm just escaping this part, but yeah, this is also a capability of uh, Metabase. I hope that's very, very clear. And if you have any doubts, uh, that's all actually for the video. But if you have any other doubt or if you want any other topic to be covered in Metabase, uh, just put uh, put out uh, put down that uh, topic into the comment section and we'll definitely try to make a, another video for that but that's i hope the complete basics uh, co covers the complete basics of metabase how to install it how to use it uh, so again remember it's a 14 day free trial and uh, so it's uh, sufficient to learn anything right in 14 days so we are, if we already know sql learning metabase is just a task of one or two days i think right so that's all for this video and uh, i hope that's helpful and if you get value from this video, please consider subscribing our YouTube channel, The Data Holics, and uh, like this video, uh, put down uh, put down your comments in the comment section so that it um, uh, might reach to more people and like, you know, might be helpful for others also, right? So that's all. Thank you so much. See you in another video.